This is a war of words that's raising serious questions about the way this president talks about women and people of color. And with Omarosa dangling the possibility of releasing more tapes, the president and his allies are unleashing a full court press trying to discredit her, but she isn't backing down. Overnight, Omarosa Manigault Newman saying there's only one way to shut down President Donald Trump. That is to just don't give him the oxygen, and the oxygen comes from the clicks, the likes, the shock. It comes after the president referred to his former apprentice as a dog earlier in the day. Team Trump not backing down. Would it be appropriate for me to call a woman a dog, yes or no? It depends on what she did it to depends? you, Ed. It depends on what she did to you. Call I don't know what she did to you. She, Omarosa bit the hand that fed her. To me, that's what a dog is. This has uh, absolutely nothing to do with race and everything to do uh, with the president uh, calling out someone's lack of integrity. The backlash, as Manigault Newman alleges she heard an outtake from the first season of The Apprentice, in which Mr. Trump allegedly used the N-word multiple times. The White House asked point blank. Can you stand at the podium and guarantee the American people they'll never hear Donald Trump utter the N-word on a recording in any context? Uh, I can't guarantee uh, anything, but I can tell you that the president addressed this question directly. I can tell you that I've never heard it. The president denied using that racial slur, but Manigault Newman says her claims are backed up by a new recording of a discussion during the 2016 campaign about the alleged tape with other aides, including with then-spokesperson Katrina Pearson. In an interview overnight, Pearson insisting those comments were taken out of context. It is, because it's not real. That's the whole point. In another revelation, Manigault Newman says she's been interviewed by the special counsel and is open to meeting again. You know, if he calls me, I certainly will um, participate with anything that he needs. Adding that candidate Trump absolutely knew about the emails stolen from the Clinton campaign before they were released by WikiLeaks, but declined to give any details. I am going to expose the corruption that went on in the campaign and in the White House. I'm going to continue to blow the whistle on all of this. Overnight, the president's attorney insisting Mr. Trump had no prior knowledge of the WikiLeaks email dump. I know she's lying, know she's lying because I was on the campaign more than she was. And now President Trump's campaign is moving to shut down Omarosa, claiming it's taking legal action against her for allegedly violating a non-disclosure agreement she signed during the campaign. When asked about that move, Omarosa said she doesn't believe that she broke the agreement and then accused the president of trying to silence her. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.